Yeah, I'm Dr. Syed Amir Basha Paspala, the Chief Neurosurgeon of Care Hospitals. I'll just tell you briefly about the role of DBS in Parkinson's disease. Before going into the full details of DBS in Parkinson's disease, I'll just tell you briefly about what is Parkinson's disease. The Parkinson's disease is basically a degenerative disorder. In this uh, there are certain neurons in the brain which produces a chemical called dopamine. So when there is loss of these neurons and the production of dopamine comes down in the brain, then the coordination in the network of the brain gets disturbed. This disturbance in the coordination of the network will lead to some symptomatology. The main symptom in Parkinson's disease is tremor where there will be having, initially it may start with little movement in one finger, in one hand, and then slowly it will progress over time. And along with this tremors, there are other symptoms, main symptoms will be the rigidity, the stiffness, and then um, problem with the balancing. And then there will be other associated symptoms like uh, behavioral abnormality, disturbances in the memory, uh, the total quality of life will be disastrous for this uh, Parkinson's disease patients. When you look at the main reasons for Parkinson's disease, obvious reason is not there, um, which is very well described for Parkinson's disease. When there is no obvious reason, then there are several reasons which are attributed as a causative factor. Like aging is one part, then exposure to some chemicals, uh, for a longer time will be the another cause, sometimes the infection, sometimes the tumor, sometimes trauma. These are all the attributed reasons for Parkinson's disease. And Parkinson's disease is also known to happen in generations in some families, but it is a rare phenomenon, but it is described. So these are the various reasons for Parkinson's disease. I told you about uh, how patients suffer with Parkinson's disease. When a patient comes with Parkinson's disease, we try to find out what is exactly the reason for this and then um, uh, confirm the diagnosis and then start them on medical treatment. The medical treatment of Parkinson's disease is mainly based on supplementation of the chemical that is dopamine which is deficient in these brains. And there are various uh, medications which will uh, supplement this chemical and this supplementation will work uh, very well uh, for a lot of patients. But there are certain patients where you need to go on increasing these dosages and this increasing dosages will have associated side effects. And in some patients it comes to that level where there will, they will have a lot of problem uh, without taking medication. And when they, do, when they take a lot of medication to control the symptoms of the disease, they will have uh, inconvenient uh, causing uh, side effects. So then we have to think out of box. Then we think about the, what are the latest things which are available to treat Parkinson's disease. DBS is one wonderful option for this particular patients, where patient is responding to the medical treatment but they are intolerant for the medicines. Their DBS is said to have the best effect. So in DBS, we uh, choose the particular target and this target uh, in Parkinson's disease is mostly subthalamic nucleus. And we place the electrode in the subthalamic nucleus and uh, that electrode will be used to stimulate that particular target so that the the purpose of the dopamine is solved. Like what dopamine causes by connecting, coordinating all these circuits, stimulation of these deep seated targets will coordinate that communication and coordination. Thereby it brings relief in the symptomatology. And uh, when you look at the hardware for uh, uh, deep brain stimulation, the depth electrodes are one thing. And this wiring will be connected to a pulse generator which will be kept in the uh, chest region near the axilla. And once this pulse generator is connected to the deep seated uh, electrode target, 
then the stimulation of this pulse generator can be manipulated according to the requirement of the patient. Yeah, I would like to tell you briefly about uh, what precautions we have to take after uh, deep brain stimulation implant placement. The deep brain Im uh, stimulation implants will be the major thing is the pulse generator which will be there in the chest and um, uh, the wiring will be done with the electrodes which are placed in the deep targets in the brain. So suppose somebody is undergoing MRI. So we need to switch off the pulse generator and then we uh, put it on after the MRI. And the other thing is like suppose a patient with uh, uh, DBS implant in place is undergoing some other surgery. We need to take little precautions during surgery. We, the patient has to alert the medical team about this uh, uh, surgery which was done earlier on him so that they avoid uh, uh, monopolar cautery during surgery. And other daily activities like uh, the walking, running, jogging or um, swimming, all these things can be undertaken normally. But any stressful activities or any stretching activities which will be putting these uh, connecting wires uh, on stretch, it should be avoided. So usually after deep brain stimulation surgery, uh, the patient will be discharged on the second day and on. Then they will be called back for suture removal on the seventh day or tenth day. So there are no sp other special precautions to be taken for this uh, uh, for the sake of the implant. Thank you.